Okay, so in a view, I'm um, looking at this house. It's a Frank Lloyd Wright house. I can have different settings for my controls here. Uh, but what I want to show you is that there's options now where if you choose the graphic display option, you can apply settings from here. So, for example, if I came down and said cast shadows apply, I can see the shadows in the building, but also I can turn on uh, artificial lighting. Uh, I'm here I've got interior sun only, uh, but I've also got the option to, to tell it uh, what the sun setting should be like. Let's make this at say 4 o'clock and apply, you'll see the shadow change. And then uh, the, other, the new things that are in here are the ability to, uh, to have a, a, a background that is maybe the sky or uh, this is not a good one to illustrate it and I'll show you an exterior in a second but sky gradient or Im or you had image but s sky and gradient are new options um, the photographic exposure is that I can have it do this automatically or I can go in and actually set a, an f-stop if you like so if I were to switch to realistic instead of uh, this hidden line and apply that, you'll see that I'm, I should be seeing the, uh, the materials. And if I enable the photographic exposure and let it calculate for me what a not reasonable exposure is, I'll try that. Or I could try manually, I'm going to open the lens a bit by cranking it down a little bit so you can see it a little bit brighter. Now if I think that that looks kind of reasonable for me, um, what I'm going to do is say save this as a template and I'll give it a name. So let's call it a SFO interior. Save this. And the purpose of that is that if I were to switch to any other view that's like an interior shot, I can always, on the view template itself, say that I'm going to use the SFO interior and apply that on here to get the same settings. And then what's uh, also new is that if I switch to my shot and I, I change from uh, the normal options that we had on visibility to ray trace, you'll see what it does in the view. The longer I wait, the better the image will get. So it's actually doing ray tracing in the view at the moment. And I'll stop it as soon as we have an image that is kind of fairly reasonable. And then I'll be able to to, uh, to save that. But the, uh, this kind of in-product rendering is, uh, is a pretty powerful feature. Uh, although I'm going to show some other options that on how to do rendering. I'll say stop. I'll say save. Then I'll say close. You see now what I'm able to do is kind of quickly switch to other views and retrace wherever I want to uh, create images. So the retracing gives me a higher quality where I'm seeing things like reflection in the glass and it's calculating light bounce off of surfaces or actual distribution of photometric lights within my within my building.